to me. I don't know about you. I don't know what you've been through. Some of you possibly ain't been through.
I'll wait on um, your praise to my young son, Pastor Copeland, for dropping hey. in. Hey. Hey, man, he got a long day ahead of him. Hey. I admire him so much with his energy. Hey. I was with him one night in revival last week, and I just, I just, I looked at them guys to see how they preach. I didn't get tired of it. <laughs> Went to Riverdale, Beth Neal preaching. I didn't got tired of looking at it. <laughs> a lot of energy. <laughs> and I was just waiting on them. When they get to the point, they'll do just like I am. They'll start standing right now. I call your attention. <laughs> YouTube, a young brother was preaching. That's what you probably seen. That brother had it going on. He was kind of heavy, brother. Yeah. He got to the point where he started hollering. He raised his leg up. He went back. He didn't miss a beat, though. He got back up and went back on. So if you see me raise my leg. You know, laughter is best. So I'm so sincere. I have fun in my ministry. When I was in the world, I had fun. And I'm not going to deny myself of having fun in the body of Christ. I want to talk today from the book, Old Testament book. Hangout. As many of you may may not be familiar with it, but uh, it's relevant for this time. Hangout. That's what the book is called. The book of Hangout, and he called himself the prophet Hangout. When you look at that, the breakdown pronunciation is H A G E Y E. In the pronunciation of that prophet name. Old Testament, minor prophet, Haggai. Uh, I'm going to read beginning at chapter 1. It is a Two chapter book and is consists of 38 verses. Haggai is the next to Obadiah, is the shortest book in the Old Testament. When you read Obadiah, Obadiah just had a few verses. But then Haggai came on with two chapters, consists of 38 verses. But that is a dynamite message in this short minor prophet book. It began by saying, in the second year of Darius, the king, in the sixth month, in the first day of the month, came the word of the Lord by Haggai, the prophet unto Jerubel, the son of Shealtel, and governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest. This is what it said. Thus spake the word, the host. Thus spake the Lord of hosts, saying, This people say, the time is not come. The time that the Lord's house should be built. 
Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet saying, Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed house? And this house, the Lord's house, lie waste. Now, therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, this is our answer right here, consider your ways. You have so much. That's why you ain't got the way you've been trying to go. You have so much. You work two or three jobs. But you bring in live. You eat, but you have not enough to eat all the time. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You got a nice cold, but you still are cold. You are Today, consider your ways. I said, listen, your prayers, as well as your amen, as we embark upon the prophet Haggai, as he talked to the people of God about the thing that they was doing and not doing. Consider your way, said Haggai, as he addressed God's people who was constantly neglecting the building of the Lord's house. I hear you say it in your thinking process. What does that have to do with modern day time? We not in a building mode of a building. But your life ought to be a building. Your life is purposely planned by God, for you to build your hopes. It's all right to say, build your 
Some folks come in this morning. 
conscience me. Uh, why, why all of us in here, we need to do an analytical study on self.
but then you wonder why you're not being productive. Because you left the law out of the equation. But I hear in the lesson, in verse 8, it said to them, you need to go up to the mountain and bring some wood and build the house. Here's what God said, if you go and build the house, I will take pleasure in it. And I will be glorified. If you want God to be glorified, do something for the house in which you live in. You need to build the house of God that you live in.
Sometimes. 
this place, those that have the gift of offering, there's a box on the right hand as you exit the door. Please leave a gift of offering in that box for the benefit of being careful. We ask you don't have no issues. You just have the box there where you place your gift in. God chose you. We chose you. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, God, that we can consider our ways. Whereas now that you, as we leave now, hold us in the heart of your man. Help us to run on and see what the end don't be. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> we'll rest and move with us in the morning for the people of God's sake.